Bumlin Biden is panicking as 80,000 deleted images and emails from Hunter's laptop from hell are about to be published. In this video, we'll take a look at the whistleblower who's promising to publish a massive amount of never-before-seen data from Hunter's laptop. We're going to see how more and more pundits are openly admitting Biden's not even going to finish his first term. And stick me to the very end of this video when I'll reveal the two scandals that threaten to bring this nightmare of a presidency to an end once and for all. You are not. You don't want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Stevie with you. Great to be with you. As always, I am your daily fake news antidote. So come on in to your patron professor's den where I help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe. And before we dive in here, gang, I do have some sober news here, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm just going to come out and say it. I need your help. I have a plea from the bottom of my heart, for those of you that have been encouraged by what I do here on this channel each and every day, um, I can't tell you everything yet. I will tell you tomorrow, to Friday. What I can say is that some really difficult circumstances have arisen here on this channel, and I need your help. Um, I can tell you it's not good, and it does threaten severely. Uh, my ability to daily report what's happening in the world on this platform. So if you appreciate this channel and this content, I need you to please click the link below and subscribe to my email list. Now, my email list has hundreds of thousands of subscribers, patriots just like you, and it is the main place to get uncensored communication directly from me in case we ever get disconnected. So I need your help. I can't give you the details, but please click on that link below, put in your email address. So on Friday, I can share with you more about what's uh, happening here. I can't thank you enough for your support for me and for this channel and everything you mean to me. Uh, I just have to be honest. I urgently need your support right now, and it means more to me than, than you know. So I'll let you know via email on Friday, more details to come. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. I think it is safe to say that it's becoming common opinion among our Washington elite that Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, is effectively a one and done president. We're not just talking Fox News saying this. Even CNN, of all places, the most distrusted name in fake news, they are now openly talking about potential Democratic replacements for Biden in 2024. This is on the uh, heels of a TIPP poll that asked over a thousand registered voters, who would you like to see run for president on the Democratic ticket in 2024? Only 22% of respondents said they wanted Biden to run again. 22%. So CNN, of all places, has pieces gushing over the potential Democratic uh, candidacies of the likes of Pete Buttigieg and Elizabeth Warren, A.B. Klobuchar, who all could replace Biden in 2024. But now it's actually getting worse than that. We're starting to see more and more pundits predict that Biden won't even finish his one-and-done term. And the reason for this is the increasingly clear cognitive deterioration that we've been seeing of late. I mean, my, you had to have seen that video, right, of Biden around Barack Obama and his return to the White House. And they were having that reception. And I mean, Biden just looks so lost. I mean, he really looked like he needed help. Nobody was talking to him. He didn't seem to even really know anybody. Kaylee McEnany said it best. This was just sad to watch. I mean, truly it was. But now there's actually a new reason for Biden to end up falling short of his fulfilling his one and done term. And that's, of course, the so-called laptop from hell. Hunter Biden's laptop, the gift that keeps on giving. Ever since the New York Times hilariously admitted that the laptop was indeed authentic a few weeks back, a few weeks back and of course a year and a half after the presidential election with their guys safely in office, the Times finally admitted uh, what to what the rest of the world already knew. And ever since then, scandal after scandal has begun to surface surrounding Sleepy Joe. As it turns out, the laptop really isn't about Hunter. It's more about Sleepy Joe and what increasingly appears to be a number of illicit dealings that involved old Joe. And of course, what's so interesting in all of this 
is that the legacy media, for whatever reason, is finally reporting on this, however tepidly. Stories are starting to come in, uh, leak throughout the legacy media, and they don't have any choice. Jack Maxey from Steve Bannon's War Room, who has access to the hard drive from the laptop, has fled to Switzerland in order to escape retaliation from the White House for what he's claiming he's about to do, which is to release 450 gigabytes of deleted material from the laptop, including 80,000 images and videos. I mean, we can only imagine what we're going to find through all these things. Again, as this is all released to the public, Legacy media is going to have no other choice but to report on it, especially given the the confirmed authenticity of the hard drive. Maxi is promising to publish all the deleted content online in a database in a matter of weeks. And I mean, it promises to be an absolute bombshell or several bombshells, which I'm sure the White House is already getting prepared for. Again, like I said, this laptop is the gift that just keeps on giving. Now, ironically, what we know thus far is enough to topple this presidency. There are already two major scandals brewing from the laptop data that we already have. So what Maxi promises to be publishing in the coming days is only going to be icing on the cake, or who knows, it may even be a whole nother cake for that matter. But in terms of the scandals that are already brewing, I want to go reach one of them uh, just to see how they develop over the next, so you'll be able to see how they develop over the next a couple of weeks. Look, the sum total of all of them combined, just in terms of their ongoing development and reporting, really are enough to sink this presidency. So what do we already have here? Well, first and foremost, there are the myriad of contradictions surrounding Joe Biden's repeated claim that he never had anything whatsoever to do with Hunter Biden's business dealings. So, for example, we now know, based on emails from the laptop, as recently as 2017, Joe Biden wrote a college recommendation letter for the son of a Chinese executive who did business with Hunter Biden. And it's but the latest evidence suggesting that there was not the separation that Joe claimed there was between himself and Hunter's business dealings. But this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of Biden being involved with Hunter's dealings. Hunter admitted in a 2019 New Yorker magazine article that he and Sleepy Joe discussed his job on the board of the corrupt Ukrainian energy company Burisma that paid him a million dollars a year, $83,000 a month, to just sit on the board. We also have photographic evidence that Joe Biden had firsthand knowledge of Hunter's business dealings. One of the pictures from the laptop shows then-Vice President Biden next to Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim with Hunter off to his side. And there are a number of Hunter's business associates as well in the picture. Fox News, to their credit, was, as I understand it, they were the only mainstream media outlet to pick up on the story when it originally uh, came out. They reported that the picture includes a number of other international CEOs, as well as Hunter's associate Jeff Cooper, a longtime former managing partner of the law firm Simmons Cooper, a big Biden donor. Now, while it's unclear what either Hunter or Joe were trying to do here with this meeting, what is clear is that Joe's emphatic denials that he never, ever had anything to do with anything involving Hunter's business dealings are categorically refuted just by this one photo alone. I mean, we could go on and on. So keep an eye on how this latest letter of recommendation for the son of one of Hunter's Chinese business counterparts. Keep an eye on how that develops in terms of Joe's imploding assertion that he had nothing to do with Hunter's business dealings and the related issue of how much money did Joe make in the process. That, as I understand it, is the key scandal here. Sleepy Joe's involvement with Hunter's illicit business dealings and any one of those emails could easily sink his presidency. So you've got that. And then the other big one is the whole quid pro quo scandal surrounding Biden when he was vice president. Biden admitted on video that he threatened to withhold a billion dollars in aid from Ukraine. I think it was back in 2014. He would withhold a billion dollars in foreign aid until their government fired a special prosecutor who was investing Burisma, the corrupt company where Hunter was serving on the board of directors, making a million bucks a year. Now, not only did this have the appearance of a clear quid pro quo, you'll get your money, but not until you get rid of that special prosecutors investigating my son's company, 
But we now have emails that reveal that Biden met with or was meeting with an executive from Burisma right around that time, which, of course, in turn contradicts his repeated denials that he ever discussed Hunter overseas business dealings. So this quid pro quo issue and the business dealings with Hunter are both intimately interrelated. So those are the two major scandals that I see as potentially blowing up this presidency long before uh, he would have finished his first term. We'll certainly keep an eye on how things develop here, but with the publishing of tens of thousands of more deleted emails and images from the laptop, <laughs> I mean, things may only be just heating up. Now, before you go, you will definitely want to check out my latest video. I just uploaded it this morning on the first January 6th protester acquitted on all charges in a humiliating defeat for the Justice Department. You're not going to want to miss it, so make sure to click on the link, and I'll see you over there. God bless.